How's it going out there, my flat picking friend? In today's video, we're going to be looking at the tune Beaumont Rag. This tune comes to us by way of Texas. It was originally a really hot fiddle tune down there, played in the key of F. But as it crossed over into the bluegrass world, people modulated this one into the key of D, and it's become a really popular contest guitar tune and uh, popular with mandolin players and everyone else too. So this is going to be a great tune to take to your local jam session. Before we dive into today's lesson, if you haven't had a chance to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button below, please do so now. That way you'll get notifications whenever we upload a new video to the YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking for a more enhanced learning experience with PDFs of the sheet music and tablature to all these flat pick fiddle tunes, as well as play along tracks, backing tracks, and other educational tools, check out the link below in the description to mandolinsecrets.com forward slash guitar. There you'll find all sorts of information about the Guitar Club and how you can get access to these tools and our community where you can interact with other flat pickers about our lessons and anything generally related to flat pick guitar. All right, before we go ahead and dive into the demonstration on this tune, I want to point out a few things that might help set you up for success a little easier on this tune as you dive into it. On the A part of this tune, everything's pretty standard. It's a, a very active eighth note melody, so like we've talked about here on the channel before, alternate picking is going to be your best friend on this one. So all notes that fall on down beats or numbered beats should be a down stroke, and then all of the notes that fall on off beats or up beats should be up strokes. Um, if this is something that you're not terribly familiar with, let me just play the first couple measures to Beaumont Rag here, and I think you'll see what I'm talking about. One, two, three, four, one. So if you were kind of counting along there with that, the clicks on my metronome would represent one, two, three, four in each measure. And you'll notice that all the notes that fell on those clicks were being played with a downstroke. There's some interesting syncopation that happens here on bars five and six, and that might throw you off a little bit too. So anytime there's a syncopated note that is tied across a downbeat, that next one is gonna be played on an offbeat, so it should be an upstroke. That may feel unnatural to you, um, but I promise that that's going to set you up for success so you can hit that next downbeat with a downstroke and that'll get you back on track. One more time, this is the measure that I'm talking about. So just pay special attention to how your pick is moving with the beats. This is something that uh, just doesn't apply to this tune, but pretty much all flat picking fiddle tunes should be treated this way so that you can kind of get your speed and accuracy down. If you get kind of screwed up and you start playing upstrokes on downbeats, typically you'll uh, start to drag in your playing or just kind of get off of the, the rhythm and um, we don't want any of that to happen, right? We want to stay on track. <laughs> uh, another thing that I want to mention about this tune is that the B part to Beaumont Rag is typically every flat pick guitar player's introduction to the art of cross picking. For those of you that don't know what cross picking is, uh, that's simply utilizing multiple strings to create kind of a, a fuller sound with a simple melody. Um, so, for example, the B part uh, to Beaumont Rag sounds like this. If we were just kind of pointing out the important melody notes in the B part, it, it would kind of sound more like this.
that's a fine melody, right? But that cross picking really adds a lot of uh, breadth and depth to the sound of the tune and kind of creates uh, a little bit of a rhythmic push or drive forward, some forward momentum, right? That keeps us going through the B part. So I choose to employ alternate picking like we were talking about for the A part in the cross picking here, but there's another pattern that you can use. I'm just gonna show you here really briefly. Um, instead of playing that first measure like this, you can play it like this. Now, if you didn't quite notice what I did there, on that first version, I played down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Alternate picking the whole way, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, right? That second time though, this is a cross picking pattern that a lot of the founding fathers of flat picking guitar would use. They call this one a down, down, up pattern. So they put two down strokes in the right hand in a row. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. That's a really common way to phrase your cross picking and it emphasizes those notes on your A string a little more than if you use alternate picking. I'm not gonna say one is right or wrong or better than the other. I choose to use alternate picking just because my right hand is a little more comfortable and fluid in that style, and I've learned to articulate those notes on the A string with the same strength that you would get with that 3-3-2 three, three, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up kind of pattern. Now. This deserves some experimentation for you though, and I'm not gonna tell you how to do it uh, in your own playing. So just know that there are two different options when you play those cross-picking patterns on the B part. All right, my friend, I think that's enough uh, in terms of tips and tricks to, to help you with this tune. So let's go ahead and dive into the demonstration on this one. All right, as always, we're gonna dive into a slow version of the tune here. So sit back, watch the tune through once or twice, and then try and dive in and see what's going on in the left hand and the right hand here. All right, so here's the slow version. All right, now that we have an idea of what this tune sounds like slow and we've got our feet under us, let's go ahead and bump the tempo up a little bit and see what this would sound like at a medium speed.
All right, my friend, that's it for Beaumont Rag. I hope you get a lot of mileage out of this tune. Like I said, it's become really popular in uh, flat picking circles over the last few decades, I think because of that cross picking section in the B part. So have some fun with that one and try this out at your local jam session, okay? All right, my friend, thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.